All right, people, it's your boy, Max B. Here we are, Industry Automations. Our first video. What we're gonna do in this series is learn how to create the ultimate Airtable base for a record label. The first video is gonna show you the core table structure. We're gonna talk about linked records, and then we're gonna use a roll-up field to display information across tables back into uh, the spot we need it. So let's get started, here you go. You have a blank Airtable base here. Step one, title it. We're gonna call this one Industry Records. We're gonna make it a nice fancy color, orange. I like the music icon for this, so we'll search for music. And voila, there you go. Across the top here, you have tables. Across this left hand rail are views. This is where you have your fields. Now fields look like columns in a spreadsheet, but they're different. They're way more rich, way more engaging, and way more powerful. So just stay with me and we'll learn practically versus me teaching you or telling you in the abstract. So here we go. The first table <clears throat> is going to be called Artists. Artists have a name, so let's use some artist names. John Bon Jovi, is that how you say it? No, John Bon Jovi, I believe. Let's see, John Bon Jovi. There you go, I had it. <clears throat> John Bon Jovi, <clears throat> we've got the killers and we've got uh i don't know whitney okay now what are the types basic types of information you're going to want about these artists and uh let's just start easy but just to show you guys the powerful the power of these fields so first we're going to have status so status is is going to be a single select option and the options are going to be, I don't know, uh, prospect, in conversation, right? So if you're an A&R and you want to track the, the different types of artists who you're talking to, and then you've got, I don't know, signed. So let's just say for these artists, they're all signed to us, industry records. And now we're able to display them that way. Um, let's move on and then we'll start to use roll-up fields to bring valuable information back and you'll understand the power of being able to do it that way versus the simple spreadsheet model. Second table is going to be contacts. Now contacts are really any human being, right? So an artist could be John Bon Jovi, but in this case, the, that, that's the artist's name. The Killers has Brandon Flowers. Whitney Houston has Whitney Houston, but they are not people. They are artist entities. So make sure that we, even if the name is the same, we're going to keep these things separate. Also, contacts can be managers. Contacts can be employees of industry records. Contacts can be attorneys, anything. And we're going to use one table for all of these people and then various modifiers, various fields to indicate their relationship to the artists, and then you'll also see their relationship to the releases. So contacts. Now contacts is going to look a little different. We're going to have um, we're going to have a first name field, and we'll just make that single line text. We're going to have a last name field. And let's just delete these for a second. So let's say um, Harold Hugh, and we'll say Harold Esquire. He is ultimately going to get the role of attorney for somebody, but um, nonetheless, we'll just put his name in for now. Let's say uh, 
uh, Jennifer uh, manager or we'll call it Jennifer uh, yeah Jennifer manager and that's not let's just say Jennifer Simpson and then she'll be a manager at some point and then let's just say um, uh, me Max Bernstein and I'll be an employee of industry records and you'll see how my role as I don't know product manager will get tied back to the artist now in the primary field this is very important the primary field needs to be unique so in this case we're going to make it a formula field and we're going to use a formula called concatenate to make it look pretty and unique so concatenate first so it's going to bring in the first name separated by a space comma last name close it out save there you go harold esquire jennifer simpson max bernstein these are just our first three contacts we'll assign their roles in a minute as we go now we need organizations so organizations are literally anything it can be industry records as an organization um, a management company is an organization, a, a business manager, an agency, a um, whatever it may be. There's organizations. And this is where you'll keep organizational data, like to whom do you invoice, to whom do you, um, I don't know, what's the address? These, this way you don't have to put these things in multiple times. You link the organization back to the contact, and you can call that data in anytime, anywhere you want. Um, and again, the power of using structured relational databases versus unstructured spreadsheets. So organizations, seemingly each organization should have a unique name. So we'll just keep the name in this case, a single line text field, and we'll see how far that gets us. We can always change it. So let's call it, um, um, uh mac management that's a management company uh we can for instead of status let's call this single line text field type and we'll call that management companies company and then we'll say um Booking agency, say law firm, whatever, whatever. So we've got Mac management, we'll call that management company. Um, we'll say um, uh, Simpson Law LP. That's a law firm, ba ba ba. And we'll go on and on and we'll build these out. Now, eventually, this these pieces, um, these records will also have addresses, so we can kind of start to build that out, but you'll get the idea as we go. Street, duplicate, city, duplicate, state. Duplicate zip code. Street, city, state. Um, they always give you the assignee by default. I rarely use it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So let's just say one, two, three, Main Street, um, New York, New York, one, two, zero, one, one, I don't know, something like that. And then this will say 456 South Road. And we'll say Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, like that. Okay. Uh, now, the most exciting table is coming up it is called releases. The moment I'm guessing you're keeping your release calendar on a spreadsheet. When it gets updated, maybe it displays properly in the spreadsheet. 
But what about the marketing people? Are they getting that information in real time? No, there needs to be text threads. There needs to be breakout meetings, alignment calls, all these things just to get them the information that could have been automatically updated on their sheets. If you were using a structured format like a database, this is why we on, you're watching this video. This is what the power of all this is. Keep watching and it will blow your mind. Here we go, releases. So now this is the first time we're gonna be introduced to linked records because what does a release have? Well, a release has a title. So let's put that, right? Releases have titles, but let's make that single line text because titles are never really like multi-line paragraphs. And then title and then releases have artists, right? But what do we have here? We have an artist table, okay? We don't need to type the name of the artist into the release calendar because it can just get linked back properly. So here we go. Let's change this user field to a link to another record field. Let's call it artist. And let's link it to the artist table. We're only going to allow it to link to one record and we're going to not limit it. We're going to keep it open, but we could limit it. Um, not right now. We won't. Okay. And then there's going to have to be a date, right? So let's make this a date field. Let's call this release date to be super specific. And boom. All right, then once we build this out, we'll make a form, we'll make a um, primary field using concatenate formula again. But first let's talk about this. So let's see, Whitney Houston is the artist. The title is Dance With Somebody. I think that's what the song's called. And let's say it's coming out, uh, I don't know, June 9th. 2023 for the primary field keep it called name but we'll use a formula again we'll use concatenate and let's just make it look pretty so it's going to say concatenate artist but this time we'll put a hyphen in between and we'll say title and then there you go these records are going to be displayed like that uh, and then let's do the killers and we'll call this one human and this is going to come out May 24th. Sorry, did that say March? May 19th and there you go. The killers human dance with somebody linked back to the artist bear with me then we have the most powerful and the last and most powerful core table in the base and it's going to be called nodes this is a junction table i call it nodes because it makes intuitive sense and it also completes the acronym you might have noticed our logo is an acorn that is because our proprietary method for building out a Airtable base to, to be used by anyone in the music business is to have these five core tables, A, C, O, R, N, Acorn. Helps you remember it, helps us with marketing, Acorn. Now nodes is a junction table. Junction table is when you have complicated relationships where you need more, let's call it information to determine the exact relationship between two tables. You saw how we linked artists to releases already because if it's a release by Whitney Houston, you can go directly there. But what if there is a producer on the record and you need to display the producer's information with regards to the release that producer needs to be linked through nodes back to releases indicated as a producer and then you can roll up the information onto the release table 
from the nodes table. That all sounded really complicated. I promised myself I wouldn't do that, but I did it. Keep watching, it'll make sense over time. So for nodes to start, we're gonna start with some linked record fields. So what are things that can get linked to each other, right? We can have artists to releases. Now we already have a direct relationship for the main artist, but what if we have a, what if we have a, a, a side artist? What if we have two side artists? What if we have three side artists? We're gonna wanna link them through the nodes table because otherwise we're not gonna have enough inventory of data to determine and, and properly assign their role to the release. Trust, just trust. Okay, so let's make a link tier to artist. Nope, nope. Let's also make a link to contacts. Because there are, because contacts are linked to artists in various ways, right? We have got attorneys, we've got managers, we've got product managers, we've got A&R people, we've got all these people, and they have a relationship to the artist. That relationship is going to get defined in the nodes table. Next, we will have releases. And that release will get a linked record. We will, yeah, in this case, we can allow multiple records because maybe a producer is maybe a contact is the producer on more than one song and we just want to use one record field one record to display that we can allow for multiple records what if one employee is the product manager for many artists we can use this link multiple records to get us there so we're going to allow that in this case let's then have a um a type field we'll call this type contacts because we're going to have two different type fields we'll make it multiple select right so if you're a contact and you're related to an artist then you are going to either be a manager you're going to be a lawyer you're going to be a agent ba, ba, ba. let's keep it there you're going to be a business manager right business Okay, and then we also want to do the same thing for type releases, releases, yeah. let's try that. And we'll do it multiple select again, and we'll call this one um, side artist. We'll call this producer, we'll call this mixer, we'll call this uh, mastering engineer. Okay, now we can start assigning people to releases in that way. All right. Let's do a little more, a couple more runs at the basic linked records before we get back into the nodes, but hopefully in only a couple more minutes by the end of this video, you will understand how to properly assign people to artists organizations, people, artists to releases, and then context to releases in a way that is pleasing. Here we go. So what did we miss here in the organizations table? We missed uh, a link to contacts. So let's call that contacts. Yeah, contacts, yeah. Let's link to contacts and allow for multiple records. So who did we say was related to Mac management? I'm fairly sure it was meant to be Jennifer Simpson. So we'll call that Mac management. And then what else did we have here? We have industry records. This is the company that we work for. Um, we're gonna call this um, uh, we can put a type in, I don't know that we're gonna need it. We can say employer or something like that, employer. Give that a unique color and call that employer. 
And let's link Max Bernstein to that. That's me. And then back to contacts. Um, Harold Esquire is part of the Sam Simpson law firm. Um, I made a mistake. We'll call this Harold, um, Harold Eves. And we'll just change this. Look, watch what I'm doing. You can just double click in there, change the record. We call it the Eves. So he's part of the Eves law firm, make management industry records. Now let's do another simple one. So you've got the killers have a release. Whitney Houston has a release. Let's move this over here. No nodes yet. Um, assignee, we can delete notes. You can keep it, but we probably don't need it yet. Sorry. All right. But what else? Artists have contacts like, for instance, a manager. And we're going to use the nodes table to indicate who the artist manager is because one artist can have many managers. One manager can have many artists. When we try to solve these many to many relationships in spreadsheets, our heads explode. You might have encountered this and not even known that you were bumping up against a very common and solvable problem but here you are you're watching this video and we're going to show you once and for all how exactly to solve it so nodes let's say that harold eves is the lawyer for john bon jovi so we're going to say john bon jovi Harold Eves, type, contacts, lawyer. Okay. Now, let's do another one where releases is linked to contacts. And we have to go back to contacts here. And we'll type in um, uh, Sam Frost. And we'll go back to nodes and we'll say that in this case, Dance with Somebody was produced by Sam Frost. Now bear with me while I fill out the concatenate function for this primary field. It's going to look a little different, but you'll probably get it as I go, and you'll certainly learn something in the process. So let's start by doing this. So if it's a, a contact node, so where artist and contacts are linked, then we can go like this. Concatenate artist what we'll call it like this. Concatenate contacts open up a thing and we'll say, open up a parentheses, and we'll say artists I don't know if that's how that's going to look, but we'll see. Um, space uh, We don't need that space, we can just make that space and we'll say type is for so look Harold Eves is John Bon Jovi's lawyer. Forgot the close parentheses. We'll put that in. Now it says Harold Eves is John Bon Jovi's lawyer. Sure, works. But if you're not an artist, uh, sorry, a contact node, I should say you're not an artist node. If you're not an artist node, then it looks, doesn't look right, right? Primary field looks terrible, as it just says Sam Frost. So we have to create another scenario, um, and we'll say, copy this, or no, we'll highlight this, we'll cut it, 
and we'll say if type artists, which means if it's not empty, then we do that. Otherwise, we do something totally different. Um, you know what? Let's say otherwise, if type releases, then here, let me make this a little bit more legible for you. We'll do another concatenate. And we're going to concatenate contacts. And we're going to say release comma type release close everything out okay so we've got if this do it otherwise if this do it and then we kind of have to close this out with otherwise do nothing so be another one of those that make it all work so looks good for now so we've got Harold Eves Jean Bajovi's lawyer Sam Frost Whitney Houston dance with somebody's producer you can make these things look any way you want in this case that's how we're going to go so now let's say that you wanted on the releases table to indicate who was the producer and what was their email. We're going to learn something I didn't actually intend on yet in this first video, but here we go. Contacts need to have email addresses because we want their email address in the release table because that's where we want to display it for people to see, for automations to run, for automatic emails or something to get sent, who knows. Um, so we'll say email, and we can actually use an email field. And for Sam Frost, we'll put Sam Frost, we'll put prod Sam at frost.com. Um, we'll put, this one we'll put max at industry auto dot, uh, industry records com and then j simpson at mac management.com and we'll say harold eves at eves law lp okay everyone's got an email address now, if we go to the nodes table and we're in the contacts table, sorry, the contacts field, we click on this little downward carrot right here. We add a lookup field. This allows us to look information up from the linked record we have in the nodes table. So in this case, I want to look up their email address. Why not? Boom. Now we have their email address. We don't have to type it in there. We already typed it in once. We look it up across tables. So now, if I want to display the producer's name and the producer's email for whatever release you've got, in this case, Whitney Houston, I can do so using what's called a roll-up. So let's call this producer. It's going to be the type of roll-up, and it's going to allow you to roll up any from any table where there's a direct link or yeah, from where there's a direct link. And in this case, the nodes is directly linked. So we're going to roll up the contact where type release is exactly producer. And we're going to just call this array Join values, that works. And there we go. Whitney Houston, Dance with Somebody, produced by Sam Frost. Now, we can duplicate that and say producer email. 
In this case, instead of rolling up the contact itself, we're going to roll up the email from contact using the same condition. We're going to say, boom, we've got the producer's email. Voila. Now, what if the producer had an IPI number? What if the producer had sound exchange information? What if the producer had a manager? You could roll it all back up such that you have all the information of, capable of being displayed in the releases table, in an interface that talks about releases, in an email body that is meant to be sent around in order to schedule releases, in an app that you want to build that allows your employees to know this type of information from their phones. Whatever, it's now all exists back in the releases table. And just to illustrate one last time the power of this, I will go back. You see here it says produced prodsam at frost.com. Let's say hypothetically an A&R comes across this and they're like, yo, that is not his email anymore. You come back here, you say, I'm not sure what happened there. You say, um, Sam at frost at prod prod by frost.com right maybe they upgraded their email domain and here you go now you go back to releases table and there it is it's there it's just there i think that's enough for the session one session two keep a lookout for it we are going to go crazy we are going to start linking more tables together we are going to use more different type field types and we are going to build out, let's say, a full release schedule that can be displayed in the weekly meeting and also maybe even in an interface so that everyone can interact with it on the regular basis. Thank you, everybody. Again, Max Bernstein, Industry Automations. We build custom Airtable bases for the music industry. Link in the description to set up a meeting free consultation to discuss your needs, get you started, and see how we can help each other. Thank you very much.